Um, staff picks for this week. If you watch something outside the podcast that you'd like to share with the audience, something you thought was cool or intriguing or, in Dave's case, titillizing. Tantalizing? How do you say that word? Tantalizing? Well, it's either tantalizing or titillating. I'm not sure what you're trying to say. Put them together, David. Make a new word. I like it. Just go with Tantilating? it. Tantilating? Tantitlate? I don't know. We'll have to figure that out. I just literally said it. I said titillizing. Titillizing? <laughs> All right. That was hanging in the air awkwardly because you didn't absorb it. Oh, Jordan got it. Effort. She left. She knows where I'm going. I liked it. Um, I watched a, a newer one on Hulu called Deep Water with Ben Affleck, kind of similar to me. Gone Girl. I really did like it. I liked it a lot. This time, he is the killer, so I will spoil that for you. I, I haven't seen it yet. <laughs> <laughs> it. It gets obvious, though, so there's like... Oh, no okay. If it, if it gets yeah. obvious, I'll yeah. let it go. No, there's no, like, you know, secret, you know, at the end of oh, the Oh, okay. So this isn't, out, like, so. a big reveal we know from front street. Wait, I thought... No, but there's a mind game. I thought the wife took out the other... So what's interesting about the wife is that she just she's like very European, right? So she like mm -hmm. flaunts all of her like, you know, relationships in front of her husband. And so he's obviously like, you know, he's a very jealous person. So you kind of go through this like they are constantly trying to like almost one up each other if you yeah, yeah look at it that way but i yeah dave i'm excited for you to watch it and uh, uh, it's it's on my list the only, uh, the only reason i haven't watched it yet is i've been traveling but it's like top of my list for this next week um, yeah I, I heard i i'm i don't tell me what it is but i've seen a headline where it's something about a snail wrangler and i'm like what what so what i guess there's about? snails in this movie somehow and I'm waiting to see what that's all about. <laughs> that's all I know. Um, all right. Uh, well, as I just said, I've been traveling, so I haven't watched a whole lot. I did actually catch sometime last week a Stephen King movie I never got to called The Night Flyer. Um, people like it. Mm -hmm. I thought it was okay. It's got a cool design at the end of a vampire, but that's about all it's got going for it. Um, and I've watched... A, one episode of two new shows that are actually kind of fun. I'm looking forward to watching more, but... Um, Coming home after a long weekend, we saw something on Netflix called Is It Cake? And we're like, okay, me and the wife said, let's click that. What's that all about? And it's a cooking competition where baker, really great bakers have to make cake look like other things, like a taco or a burger and full judges. And I was sucked in. <laughs> well, uh, that quickly jumped to number one. So apparently you watched yeah. it like a million times those darn baking shows <laughs> and then i watched uh the at least one episode of the uh new big mouth spinoff uh human resources mm -hmm. i love that show so of Me course too. i watched yeah um it's basically all the hormone monsters anxiety mosquitoes all, all the side characters uh, have their own show now and the one episode i saw i liked it and i'm gonna keep watching it what about you john uh i watched this new show on hbo max called the minx which is about a woman and she starts a magazine for ladies. You know, it's a special magazine for ladies. Mm -hmm. And yeah. she gets Sounds plugged like into like, I want to watch. Yeah. She gets plugged into this whole other world. And like, she wants to, it's, it's weird. Cause with her character, like she's like pro feminism, but it's, it almost seems like the show is kind of making fun of feminism at the same time. They're talking about its ethics, but then she gets pulled into like what would be a male dominated 1970s world. But the guy is just an opportunist. Like he's not actually the guy running this porn company is not like a sexist. He's just a businessman. And then he sees that she has good ideas, wants to finance her magazine. It's supposed to be like the first soft core, you know, spread magazine for women, right? Be like the, the, what is it? Playgirl or whatever for women or something like so that. So that's what it's right? about. Yes, dude. And it has a oh, that is, so that's just jumped to the top of my watch. <laughs> <laughs> and Number one. Prepare yourselves because it has a lot of scientific danglers, okay? Just for the sake of art and science <laughs> are the danglers. All right? There's a reason why they're there. Um, and all shapes and sizes. So it, it immediately, you know, I, I would say it's artistic, okay? All right. <laughs> is, it, is this a full season drop or is this like a week to week show? They only they drop two episodes. I, I don't like how HBO Max tricks you and drops a few, and then like you don't know the schedule, and then they drop one at a time. It, like I just don't like the semi. Well, we, we talked about this before. I don't like the semi 
streaming world. I like drop them all. I'll get to them all. Even if even if it takes me six weeks to watch six episodes, I like the freedom of having it exist in a playlist. You know. So and see, I'm actually kind of on the opposite end. Um, I actually like the week to week. You want a reason to live? If you want to come back on th- every right, Thursday? I mean, <laughs> exactly. That is I mean, exactly why. The, the <laughs> only thing I the only thing I don't like is they're not consistent. Where, like you said, sometimes they'll do it's three like and then week to week. But then sometimes, like on that that other show that they're doing right now that we talked about, um, the our, pirate our show, flag, our flag means death. Like, okay, yeah, three, three, them, like, three episodes, and then three episodes, and now two episodes. Like, yeah, wait, they burned you know? off the entire first season. Like, hey, we're done with the show. Or by the way, we don't know if we're coming back. Here's all the episodes. So, so. like, either either stick to a week or drop like one or the other. Either all in one week or week to week. You know who you know who plays the promoter who who brings her into the company to make a deal with her is the main character from Drinking Buddies. Yeah, I saw uh, Jake Johnson. Yeah. yeah. So. Well, it's I'm definitely a show that we should talk about on this show. So you guys got to keep up. I mean, I know this is a first world problem, but I hate all the good TV that's coming out. I'm like, dude, I can't keep up with all of it. Uh, I hate to break it to you, Dave. The first world doesn't exist anymore. <laughs> that's over with. <laughs> uh. 